Hey there, language enthusiast. Sounds like you're ready to ride that wave of AI in education, specifically for English language teaching, right? You've even got your eye on this free online course, creating AI-generated activities for ELT. Four weeks, totally free, and packed with tools and techniques. Sounds intriguing, right? Let's dive in and see if it lives up to the hype. From what I'm seeing, this isn't some go at your own pace kind of course. It's structured, runs from November 1st to the 30th, and uses Moodle, so you'll be learning alongside other teachers around the world. There's a real benefit to that structured format, wouldn't you say? It's like the difference between saying you'll learn a new language right. and actually signing up for a class with deadlines yeah. and classmates to keep you accountable. Plus, having instructors based in both Argentina and Canada, Dr. Doris Malero and Dr. Nelly Deutsch, respectively, shows you're getting a global perspective on this. Their credentials are seriously impressive. Dr. Malero is all about that blended learning life, while Dr. Deutsch has been a pioneer in this field for over 40 years. She even led the TESOL Computer Assisted Language Learning Interest section. Talk about a rock star resume. And they're not just throwing you into the deep end with technical jargon. Week Zero is all about getting your bearings, introductions, figuring out Moodle, because who hasn't been frustrated by a new learning platform, and a gentle introduction to some AI tools. What's interesting here is they introduce you to not just one, but a whole bunch of AI language models right off the bat. ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Bing, Perplexity, you name it, they've got it. It's like having a starter kit of different paintbrushes. You wouldn't use a fine tip brush for a wall mural, mm -hmm. right? Same goes for AI. Each tool has its own strengths. And this course gets you familiar with the whole toolkit, so you can choose the best one for the job. Speaking of tools, Week Arrow also covers DID and VINDAWS which are specifically for creating videos. And we all know how engaging videos can be for language uh, learning, yeah, right? Absolutely. Imagine being able to create interactive video exercises where students can practice their speaking skills or even go on virtual field trips without ever leaving the classroom. These tools open up a world of possibilities for making learning more immersive and fun. And that's just week zero. Now, let's talk about week one, where things start to get really interesting. Week one is all about getting up close and personal with these AI language models. It's like uh, learning the secret handshake, so you can unlock their full potential. You'll dive deep into the art of prompt engineering, <laughs> Yeah. which, and stay with me here, is basically about learning how to talk to AI in a way that gets you the results you want. It's like giving clear instructions instead of vague requests. Nice. Yeah. And the best part, they don't just tell you about it, you actually get to practice. Remember that Padlet wall from week zero? Mm. That becomes your collaborative workspace mm. where you can share prompts, brainstorm ideas, and learn from other teachers experimenting with these tools. Oh, that's cool. So you can uh, yeah. see what other people are doing and get inspired. It's like having a teacher's lounge, but online. Yeah. And specifically for AI and ELT. That's a great way to put it. Plus, seeing those AI-generated examples from other teachers can really spark your own creativity. And speaking of creativity, Weeks two and three take a turn for the visually stunning. We're talking AI-generated art. Oh. Now, I'll admit, when I first heard about this, I pictured those slightly wonky AI images that were more funny than functional, but we're talking about using AI to create visuals specifically designed to enhance language learning. So it's not just about making funny pictures, it's about actually using AI to help students learn. Exactly, it's about harnessing the power of visual learning, right. which we know is especially crucial for language acquisition. A picture really can be worth a thousand words, especially when you're trying to teach abstract concepts or cultural nuances. Yeah, I can see that. Right. Like if you're trying to teach a student about say, democracy, it might be helpful to show them an image of a voting booth or something. Exactly. Imagine being able to instantly generate images that illustrate new vocabulary words, depict scenes from English literature, or even create visual representations of grammar rules. Wow. And it's not just about finding random stock photos. These tools let you tailor the images to your specific needs, so you can have visuals that truly resonate with your students. They even introduce you to a bunch of different AI art generators, TWE, Day ago, Roshi AI. It's like a buffet of creative possibilities. I'm particularly curious about Roshi AI. It sounds almost poetic. Have you ever used any of these art generators before? I haven't had a chance to play around with them yet, but I'm picturing all sorts of cool applications, like generating visual prompts for writing exercises, creating personalized flashcards for vocabulary building, or even having students use these tools themselves to express their understanding of a text visually. And that's just scratching the surface. Week three is where things get even more interactive. They dive into tools like Mizzou, 
which lets you build these choose your own adventure style activities you know, yeah. where the story changes based on the student's decisions. That sounds amazing. Wee. Talk about making language learning immersive. It's like those interactive video games where you feel like you're actually part of the story. Exactly. And then there's this tool called Magic School. Magic School. Okay. Now you're just <laughs> messing with me, right? I wish I was making this up. It's apparently a platform for building gamified learning experiences. Before you ask, yes, I too am very curious to see how this magic school thing actually works. That's like a platform for creating educational games. From what I gather, it's all about adding those game-like elements that can make learning so addictive. Points, badges, dot leaderboards, challenges, you name it. And we all know how motivating those can be, even for adults. Absolutely. Think about how much time people spend playing games on their phones. Yeah. If we can tap into that same kind of engagement for language learning, the possibilities are endless. And that brings us to week four, the grand finale, where you get to put everything you've learned into action. No more theoretical mumbo jumbo. It's time to build. They guide you through creating your own AI powered language learning activities using tools like PD Gear Chat AI and Book Creator. Yeah, cookery. Book Creator, as the name suggests, lets you create interactive ebooks. Imagine having your students create their own digital stories, complete with AI-generated illustrations and even voiceovers. That's next-level stuff. And to top it all off, you get a certificate for completing the course. 30 hours of professional development, all for free. Wow. That's not too shabby. That's something you can proudly display on your resume or LinkedIn profile. But more importantly, you walk away with a toolkit of practical skills and the confidence to actually use AI in your teaching. It sounds like this course really does give you everything you need to get started with AI in ELT. It's like they're handing you a key to a secret garden of language teaching possibilities. You'll be able to tailor your lessons to different learning styles, create more engaging activities, and even personalize the learning experience for each student. And imagine you become the go-to expert in your school or organization for all things AI in ELT. People will be coming to you for advice and inspiration. So to wrap things up, if you're an English language teacher who's even remotely curious about the potential of AI, this free online course seems like a no-brainer. You'll gain valuable skills, connect with a global community of educators, and come out on the other side feeling energized, empowered, and ready to embrace the future of language teaching. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling inspired. It's like we've had a glimpse into the future of education, and it's full of exciting possibilities. It really is. And to our listener, we say this. Don't be intimidated by the technology. This course is designed to make AI accessible and applicable to your everyday teaching. Take the leap, dive in, and who knows, you might just discover your next teaching superpower. And on that note, we'll wrap up this deep dive. But the conversation doesn't end here. We'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on AI and education? Have you experimented with any of these tools? Head over to our website or find us on social media and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep asking the big questions.